Hello, dear friends. Hello, everybody. Today we are in Minsk and uh, we have uh, the honor to receive uh, the Golden Queen from Ghana. Hello, good evening. Thank you for meeting. My name is Miss Joanna Jan Kujo. And uh, Mr. Samuel. My name is Samuel Otu. Do a collaborative business by assisting in the development of the local communities. My right arms, I have my mum, the artist, Greek artist Lisa Sotilis. I have the luck to be brought in this world with a, a quality and a talent to transform the precious noble metal that you produce and you are owner and you control 300 small minorities of groups to dig out and they dig out with their hands poor things they don't have in um, they don't have uh, machinery and, and then you are absolutely helping them and myself I help you helping me with your precious noble metal to transform in eternity with our mutual agreement and really the agreement of the nice persons they bring the good results and they bring people together so i'm very happy to have you thank you so so much tell to me mrs joanna you come for the first time in mix isn't it yes this is my first time coming to meet and also because of your help and your invitation i'm very grateful for you and your mother for what you've done this is for me is a very good news for us to me not only me but also for your central rural bank and the people in africa especially in the mining communities in ghana i am very happy for the invitation thank you you are not so cold here everything is fine because our weather is not your weather like you can have in the weather is very cold outside, especially when we got here yesterday. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning yesterday, and it was very cold. But when we get to the hotel, of course, it's a good hotel. So I love the hotel. The place is very warm. Now I will speak more about your job. Can you introduce me about your job to the people that they are looking at us now, right now? What are you doing? The reason uh, that you are in Minsk and the, the final target and goal that we found together and that we will announce to the people and to the country tonight. Basically, my vision is to transform the life of the people in the mining community, especially Africa and Ghana. And as a woman, my family has been in the gold mining and gold trade and gold export over 70 years. And as a woman, uh, I took a journey to take the company to the next level and also make my family proud to build an empire for them. I've been working for the last 20 years to be able to do things right, to support the people in my community. So I'm an investor in my community, I'm a philanthropist, I'm also a queen of development in Wasagra, Memphis, in Ghana. And I have over 30,000 people and I meet 1.5 million people in Ghana that they all believe in my vision. And we're looking to build schools and hospitals and roads to be able to support the people in the mining community and also set up filling station to provide the fuel and the oil and gas for the people to be able to have oil and diesels and petrol for their excavators, the mining equipment, because we use a lot of fuel. So my vision is to be able to build thousand uh, fuel tank stations for them so that we'll be able to supply them so they don't short fuel in terms of diesel and things like that. And one of the things we want to do is to do clean water boreholes to be able to help the people to have clean water to drink in the mining community. Because of the mercury and everything, we want to stop using mercury to do green gold mining to pro proper mining support service sectors in the mining community. We have identified more than 300 small scale miners in over 35 communities in the village that we want to support. And there's more than 206 communities around the Ghana in western, eastern, Ashanti part of Ghana. When you go to the central part of Ghana, that is Dungaofin, Ayamfwe, and all these places. And when you go to eastern KB and all these places, and you go to western region, of course, the village that I'm a queen of development, Wasagram and Fi. And this is the places that we want to do and want to help. And if you come to the Ashanti region, you go to Mansokwanta, Kumase, and Obuase, and all these places. I was born in these mining communities. So I understand the people. I know their need. I know what they are looking for. So I am in May to be able to meet you, to partner with you, to be able to have the help and support you provide for me. So that I will use the same support to provide and support the people in the mining community. Thank you.
It's amazing. What I can understand, your vision is very global about mining because we don't speak, you don't speak only about gold, that it is, a, of course, your first target to provide welfare to people. But it's gold uh, linked with agriculture, something like that too. Can you explain me more? Of course. Uh, my family has been in mining and the gold and the agriculture is our core business. We never started as a miner. We started as a farmer, so my family has been in the agriculture business, so we have all kinds of farming. And my grandparent, I come from a big royal family in Ghana, so my mother parent uh, was from a good royal family, and they have so much land, like cocoa, cassava, planting, maize. So uh, I, I do all kinds of farming when I was like eight years. I go to farm with my family. And then we identify and discover gold in our farming land. And then when we discover the gold in the farming land, and you know, of course, gold is a natural resource from gold. And in the beginning, we used to sell the land for people who are doing mining. Then later, my family decided not to sell the land anymore, but we do the mining ourselves. So we started mining. So we discover our gold mining and our gold in actually in our farmland because we weed every day and you go to farming every day and we discover gold everywhere. And you see all the treasures and trenches and everything in the whole in the land and that is when we brought people to come and test and we find so much gold. So when it rains, my village, you see a lot of nugget on the street. You see a lot of gold in the farming land, especially under the cocoa. So we decided to go into mining. 20, 2010, then I took charge fully to be able to create the Golden Empire Legacy Limited. That is when I became the founder and the CEO. We have a group of companies and other companies. But Golden Empire Legacy Limited is my baby. And that's what I have and that's what I use to transform the people in the mining community. So after mining, you reclaim the land and put it back to agriculture. And my vision is to start planting trees to have the green back to be able to produce more food like canned food, poultry farming, agro-farming and all kinds of products, especially with the fertilizers, to help people to be able to do good farming with not their strength but with all the good chemicals and the good equipment for the farming because now farming and agriculture become more industrial and you need good machines to be able to do proper farming. So if we're able to partner with you in terms of agriculture, it will change the life of the people in the mining community because our core business is a farming. In Africa, everybody is a farmer, especially in Ghana. So farming is what my mother would love most than even the gold mining. So if we're able to structure something for the people in the mining community to go back to where their root where they come from so you put it back to the back to the root and that is the farming and the agriculture and that is very tradition to produce more food if you're able to do more farming and agriculture food will be very cheap and everybody will eat good food with fresh food with no uh, any chemicals and everything to come out with the natural food and everything will be very great and super cool. I want uh, to speak about Mr. Samuel because I know that you offer your dream, your goal, uh, Mrs. Joanna, is to create uh, the first bank of gold in Ghana, I think even in the world, that everything, every people would have gold in their account to give a real richness to people for what they own. So, uh, Mr. Samuel, can you confirm me something like that? All we do as a bank is to assist the local communities and the people in the rural areas to save whatever money that they are able to raise, whether from mining or from agriculture. So our role that we'll be playing basically is to help the people open an account so that whatever uh, business they do, if they sell the gold to Golden Empire or Golden Empire support them in agriculture and their produce come, then they will have a place to save the money instead of keeping it under their bed. So basically that is what we as an institution are doing. And what we are also doing is that because most of these communities are in hinterlands, they are not close to banks. So we are appointing some of the supermarkets and then Golden Empire agencies as agents of the bank to assist the miners and the farmers to do basic banking transactions at the various locations where the, they do their mining. At their doorsteps. We also have uh, an electronic application where they can use it at the comfort of their home to
to do every transaction that they want to do. In addition to that as an institution, we've also taken it upon ourselves to assist most of these communities through health screening to improve their, 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 their health because health is wealth. And as part of our effort to help achieve the sustainable development goal of uh, environment, social and governance, this, uh, that is what we have taken to ensure that we help people to improve their health. So year on year on we do health screening in collaboration with some medical practitioners and we also have taken it upon ourselves going forward to um, drill boreholes at locations where they have challenges assessing portable water. Very well. Yeah, I would like uh, to give uh, one announcement important because you came, of course, in Minsk. We will speak about agriculture. We will visit some companies for material that it will be given to you to improve. Absolutely, for equipment, material to improve your production of gold and the welfare for everything, fertilizer, for other products that you told me before. And I want to announce that today Mrs. Sotilis will participate uh, with Mrs. Joanna in uh, one, uh, I can say, a, a golden wedding because uh, she will invest uh, part of his, um, I can say, save money. Uh, in your uh, project and uh, you can announce all your participation uh, with uh, some funds in this project but they will do everything practical for me you know what i want to do as i sold really a very important piece of property in the cycladic group i gave you the book before and uh, is the heart of civilization uh, heart of mediterranean area of culture of everything and uh, in that place, I want to do a central part also with her beautiful, noble uh, metal, transform it with my metamorphosis, with my art imagination and her visions to do not only in uh, gold micro, micro sculptures, to do also, instead of bronzes that I'm making, to do them in gold. It will be sensational. We had a hit about my jewelry in the White House visit with uh, the Greek lady. The most incredible attraction I had one of my pieces, like you are wearing. But I want to do the same thing with your help, with my bronzes. That I have them all over in the museums and we will do an incredible, um, I mean, um, an incredible offer in art and in the world. Only us we will do that. Only the two of us we can. So thank you so much. And we will absolutely do everything we can to invest, to do, to help. We will succeed, for sure. So I'm very happy tonight. So we have our first investor in minings too, thanks to this uh, sale of our uh, of the property of Mrs. Saltilis. And we will see all during the next couple of months how it will be. So we will follow with our uh, television uh, our progress and and, uh, the end, and we will do everything to make uh, to promote yeah. and to meet uh, us again uh, not in Belarusia but it will be in Russia after now we have a couple of days where we will meet the companies with whom we can uh, begin to speak uh, for material uh, buying for your uh, necessities of your mining and for uh, agriculture for everything you need that we can have and the authorities will be very happy to participate and to of course uh, to, to make you welcome. I'm very uh, grateful for uh, everybody here and I say thanks Mr. Samuel, thanks Mrs. Joanna and thanks Mrs. Sotilis.